Hi, my name's Giles Pearson. I am the CEO and co-founder of Account Tests. And the purpose of this video is to help you interpret the business tax test report. So the most important thing about this test is to understand how it's put together. So it, the, uh, the test is 40 questions at three different levels of difficulty. So what you're going to be able to do by looking at the results of this test is see where your candidate fits on those levels of difficulty. So we'll, I'll show you in the report where the wording is, but in essence, uh, level one questions are looking for people who have had say one to two years experience in tax. So uh, tax associate level, uh, the level two questions are for senior tax associates. So three to four years experience and Level three questions are for tax managers, so five years experience or more. So by looking at where your candidate did in the test, you'll be able to tell at what level uh, their technical knowledge is, and you can look at that in comparison to the job description that you've got for the role. So if we have a look at a sample of the report here, so Top right hand corner, you've got your order number and your candidate name. If you need to look things up on the platform, you'll need those details. I would always also look at the time taken on the front page. So uh, the test is timed for 40 minutes. So it will time out after 40 minutes. So you can see how long your candidate spent in the test. The second page gives you the background and the, and the usual um, uh, details, what it also has the link to the details around the proctoring. So there's a separate video for you in relation to the proctoring of the test uh, and how to look at those reports, but uh, you can see the details on the link on there. So here's the most important part of this test. So this takes you through for your candidate how they've done on the questions at level one, level two and level three. So we used an expert group to grade both the quality of the questions and which levels they went into. And so from that, you can see uh, with this candidate, the 75% 70, is the level at which our expert group decided that the candidate would show competency. Uh, so in, in this case, level one, the candidate uh, has exceeded 75%. So they've got to 83%. In level two, they've got to 72%, and in level three, at 50%. So what you can say uh, is that the candidate, is, based on this test, is showing competency at level one, very close to competen competency at level two, and doesn't meet the competency standard at level three. So that puts them very close to being a senior tax associate, so somebody who you'd, who you, if you're looking for a role where you'd expect three to four years experience. And sorry, as well on this page, you can see the uh, detail, how, how we've described what each level uh, is and what a candidate should therefore be able to do for you. We then go through for the next four pages and break it down a little further. So uh, looking at the questions, based on four topics. So we used entities and basis as one topic, and you can see how the candidate did on those. Deductions and credits. Income gains and losses. And then returns and calculations. So you're looking at relatively small numbers of questions under some of these, so the answers you know, are likely to be a little variable. In the next two pages, we go through the questions one by one. So uh, what's the question about? Which topic does it fit into? It is, is it a level one, two or three question? And did the candidate get it right or wrong? You can see at the top there, there's also an omitted symbol. Uh, so if you see those, that means that the candidate didn't answer that question. And in terms of the analysis further up, if the question is unanswered, it counts as wrong in terms of the way that, that we do the analysis. To be fair, with, a, with the 40 minute test, uh, that's a question a minute, 
a candidate should be able to finish the test and in our experience if candidates don't finish it's often a sign that uh, they're struggling with the material so you'll often see that they don't fit it, finish and don't do very well uh, and, and so marking those questions as incorrect is probably the right the right thing uh, and then the last page gives you some more information about interpreting the the results so that's what probably what we've just gone through here uh, as it says at the bottom there if you do have any questions about the test uh, your individual test or the testing itself uh, get, in, get in contact with us at help at accounttest.com and thanks for watching this video